is my car trying to leave? Oh, but when you put your foot down. Today, we're on Need for Speed Heat. Welcome back to the RSR, the most OP piece of poo poo in the game. But today is on a different note. This car has undergone some modifications. Now, throughout this video, we're going to be playing with it, the stats of this car. If you haven't seen the previous video we made, customizing the Lamborghini, we basically did many naughty things to it and gave it 2,200 horsepower, which is just a stupid amount for an already ridiculously quick car. But time now to do it to the most overpowered car in the game. Now, I did have a look at some of the files of this car, and assuming that the cars are weighed in kilograms in the game, it seems that this car was attempted to be nerfed between this game and at least the previous game. They increased the weight of the car, at least that's what I'm assuming since the previous games, which means that they realized it was too fast and thought, yeah, we'll put a bit more weight. On. Still didn't help, did it? 920 was the weight in Need for Speed Heat, 840 kilograms is the actual weight. So what I've decided to do is give it its original weight, or at least its standard weight, and give it a go. Here we go. Let's have a look, see how quick this is going to be. So it's definitely going to be faster than the standard. You already feel it's flying through the high hundreds like nobody's business. But it ain't, it ain't 3,000. Holy, it's so quick. This is still unnecessarily quick. You can see why they probably increased the weight. <laughs> so we've got the uh, single shot bottles of NOS. Everything's normal. Everything is handy dandy. But we're about to change some figures. I think to start, we should probably start by reducing the weight to half and bumping up the horsepower I mean, just a little bit. To show you the actual change in the numbers here, we're going to have to pick apart and reapply it. As you can see, the stats fly. A whole four tens and not quite there on the horsepower yet, but we're going to buy a duplicate and it's got 1700 horsepower, which is just insane. The information 936 is the standard max horsepower. We are very close to doubling that figure. <laughs> I'm never sure if I should just like sneak away a little bit. Just, just, why are we not move? Okay, for some reason it was locked up a little bit. Can you see how much the car is shaking at this low speed? This gives me an indication of how much power this is. It's shaking like American muscle. We haven't even put the sauce on it yet. You know what I'm saying about the sauce. Let's get it. <laughs> speed not to 61 holy crap we've got this nos here which honestly i don't okay it does actually help the normal nos helps massively this vehicle is just gonna sit at the top speed for the majority of its driving time isn't it this is so weird driving something at its peak performance and being able to take corners at its peak performance ah! honestly i escaped the police it's it's too much to control. My brain doesn't process information quick enough to realize it's got the crazy wheel spin at the beginning. But once it kicks off, it's like we're gonna do this jump. Come on! Oh, I was expecting a bit better than that. So we half the weight of the car, <laughs> and we doubled the performance. Almost doubled the performance. I'm not the max performance, should I say? I still want to reach that magic 3,000 horsepower and figure. I know it's going to ruin everything about this game. Am I even going to be able to get 3,000 horsepower? We're going to have to see. I never realized how easy this was to play with. Back here we are. 10, 10. I love the fact that it's all those tens. And to upgrade the power, 2,600 horsepower. Let's buy a duplicate. We've got so many of these parts now. Not only that, the wheels. <laughs> I played around with the fitment of the car. You can play around with any value, really, to do with the car. So I decided to play with the values a little bit. I'm going to be honest. I want to I want to increase it even more. I, I should probably... I'm going to write a note to make sure I remember the stock values. So my main problem is to do with weight. We've reduced the weight to half of what the actual car is. And we've increased the power tremendously. We might actually have to increase the weight, I think. Because it's, it's going to get a bit ridiculous. But let's get it. Wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. It's bopping all over. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> Once it grips, it's just gone. Holy hellfire. <laughs> I might even be reading the torque figures. But this is ridiculous. Off-road. And we lost traction. Wait. The handling physics have changed. I guess one other thing I really want to try. I want to put some drag tires on here. Drag tires surely would help. As long as we don't NOS, because then it'll just wheelie everywhere. But putting drag tires on, it makes sense, right? Let's wheel spin. Yep. 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 
<laughs> oh my god. It hits max speed so quickly. That's insane. It, it, the wheel spin is just gone. I kind of miss it, to be honest with you. You could drive this thing super easily if you were focused. Focus mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's too quick. How it jumps at low speeds is kind of <laughs> odd to me. <laughs> May have gone a bit far with the track width. Uh, I have to say, totally unintentional. I'm almost there. We've almost got it. The back's pretty close. It's not attached. <laughs> We're there on the performance, though. That is the grand question. 3,061 horsepower. It's a shame I can't be more specific and make it at 69. How, how mature I am. Problem. When I slightly accelerate, the car seems to have a mind of bopping along the road. <laughs> I did decide to increase the gravity. What have I done? I increased the gravity to twice over. Oh, but when you put your foot down. Oh my God. It's still not happy. Wait, if I touch the wall, the, are the wheels? No, it's rubbing the side of the... I think the wheels the wheels don't exist. I didn't think so. Just pop down the road. <laughs> I've ruined this game. What have I done? Can you... Um... Uh, <laughs> this needs to be a screensaver. I don't quite know what I've broken. Considering I did... I've put the gravity back. <laughs> I put the gravity back to... Say it's trying to leave. Can I... <laughs> Why is my car trying to leave? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, the camera just to where the car is. <laughs> right. I'm not exactly sure this is going to be drivable anymore. Not exactly sure how we managed to. <laughs> Wait, I know what this is. I've, I know what we've done wrong. I figured it out. The weight of this car. You, you're totally... <laughs> I made it weigh 69 kilograms. <laughs> I am a Mimi boy. Yes! <laughs> this time we're going to go for the other end of the scale. And we're finally putting on the sauce. Yes! We're taking this RSR, putting it in an event. I have made it weigh 1,000... And 69, which is heavier than the standard. But considering we have 3,000 horsepower, I'm not exactly sure that's going to be much of an issue, is it? <laughs> Let's go. I love that they changed the start of this event. Let's get it, RSR, baby. Super wide. Give me that boost. Oh, I've got drag tires on. No nothing. Look at the speed. It's still quicker than the normal RSR, but it's actually a lot more maintainable. In fact, it's really that that fast anymore 247 just locked just locked we've hit the absolute possible top speed we've made it actually tameable look at that oh we could just nos the whole way round and that would solidify our victory in getting the best time possible we're lapping them on the first on the first lap the second lap the second lap move so fresh so clean I love this. It's like another layer of the game. Of course, I would never use this on, again. Never use this type of stuff online. If you know, if you know who, if, how to do this, I will not reveal my secrets. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, I would never do this online. I would. It's just wrong. It's stupid. The only time I would even consider that is in if there were private lobbies, but there aren't, and we know that, so don't do it. <laughs> but in terms of having fun. This is this is a buttload of fun. I love how fast they Why are they bop like that? Did you see that? We built it. We made it we made it undrivable. We made it stupid. We balanced it. We made the best RSR possible. I think I say that we could probably make it 10,000, but we'll save that for another video. What other cars do you want to see me build in Need for Speed Heat? Of course, we have to do this one. This was the most highly requested car for me to make. Ridiculous. And we did. One last thing. We need we need to put some normal tires back on. If we have normal tires, it's just going to slide everywhere. And still limit the speed to exactly that of a normal RSR. Interesting. The corners are the limit. The corners ruin it. 
Can't even get it to slide here. It's holding it on 220 as a standard with no boost. I love it. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next Need for Speed Heat video. Until next time, peace.